Welcome to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. The Wedding Reception, Episode One. Hello, my name's Amanda Carlton, and I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a story about life in an English hotel called Middleton Hall. Today we begin a new story called the Wedding Reception, and the story starts in the garden of Middleton Hall, where Mrs. Middleton is talking to a young woman called Miss Woodward. Miss Woodward is thinking of having her wedding reception at the hotel. A wedding reception is a party to celebrate a marriage. Miss Woodward says, "When you see Middleton Hall in the sunshine." It really is the perfect place for a wedding reception," she continues. "And I can imagine exactly how it will be. I'll stand here in my long white dress. And my first question for you today is, what other things does Miss Woodward imagine about the wedding reception? They are then interrupted by some very loud noise. And my next question is, who is making all this noise? Let's find out." Oh, Mrs. Middleton, you were right. When you see Middleton Hall in the sunshine, it really is the perfect place for a wedding reception. I knew you would like it. Oh, I love everything about it, and I can imagine exactly how it will be. I'll stand here in my long white dress. The guests will arrive over there, and we'll have a big white marquee on the lawn over there. It will be perfect. Perfect, and there'll be flowers on every table. Yes, and music playing, classical music, <gasps> a string quartet perhaps. And then, let me see. Just a moment, Miss Woodward. What is that awful noise? Oh, look, it's Nick. Nick, Nick's my fiance. He loves cars. He buys and sells them for a living. He's all. Got something new. It's always very fast, and it's always very, very noisy. Yes, so I hear. So, what does Miss Woodward imagine about the wedding reception? She says the guests will arrive over there, and we'll have a big white marquee on the lawn over there. A marquee. Is a very big tent that is often used for big summer parties. Miss Woodward continues, and there'll be flowers on every table. Yes, and music playing, classical music, a string quartet perhaps. And a string quartet is a group of four musicians who play two violins, a viola, and a cello. And what about my other question? Who is making all the noise? It's Nick, Miss Woodward's fiance. A fiance is the person you're going to marry. Miss Woodward tells Mrs. Middleton about Nick. He loves cars. He buys and sells them for a living. If you do something for a living, it means that it's your job. She continues. He's always got something new. It's always very fast, and it's always very, very noisy. And we'll find out more about Nick in just a moment. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. And don't forget that you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. In the next scene, Sitwell, the hotel manager, comes out of the hotel and shouts, "What is all this noise? What do you think you're doing?" Miss Woodward runs towards him and explains that it's Nick, her fiance. She then turns to Nick and asks, "Did you have a good journey?" And what is Nick's answer to that question? And here are two more questions for you: What does Nick think of Middleton Hall? And does he agree that it's the perfect place for a wedding reception? Here's the scene. What is all this noise? You think you're doing? It's all right, Mr. Sitwell. It's all right. This is Nick, my fiance. Oh, 
Really? Hello, Fiona. Hello, darling. Did you have a good journey? Yeah, not bad. There was a bit of traffic, but nothing too terrible. So, Nick, I'd like you to meet Mrs Middleton and Mr Sitwell. Nice to meet you, Nick. Good morning, sir. So, Nick, what do you think? What? You mean, what do I think of this place? Of course. Well, I don't want to be rude, but it's a bit old-fashioned, isn't it? Old-fashioned? Yeah. It's like one of those places you see on TV. You know, with all the lords and ladies drinking tea on the lawn. I know! Isn't it perfect? Perfect? Perfect for what? Perfect for a wedding reception, of course. Silly. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've already discussed this, Fiona. I want to get married somewhere hot, somewhere with a bit of sunshine. And I told you I wanted to get married in England. Look, can we discuss this another time? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, all right. I'm sorry, Mrs Middleton. I'll call you when we've had a chance to talk. Of course, I understand. Come on, Fiona. Come on, get in. All right. Don't be so impatient. Good. Goodbye, Mrs Middleton. Goodbye, Sitwell. See you soon, I hope. Right. So, did Nick have a good journey? Yes. He says... There was a bit of traffic, but nothing too terrible. And what does he think of Middleton Hall? He says... I don't want to be rude, but it's a bit old-fashioned, isn't it? So, does he think it's the perfect place for a wedding reception? No, he tells Miss Woodward. I want to get married somewhere hot, somewhere with a bit of sunshine. The two of them obviously don't agree. So, Miss Woodward says to Mrs Middleton, I'll call you when we've had a chance to talk. And then they get in the car to drive away. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio programme from the British Council. When the scene continues in just a moment, there's a problem. So, what goes wrong? And, according to Sitwell, who can solve this problem? Let's find out. Goodbye, Mrs Middleton. Goodbye, Sitwell. See you soon, I hope. Right. What's going on? Oh, what's wrong with this thing? Oh, I don't believe this. Is there a problem, sir? Yeah. It won't start, will it? Can't you do something, Nick? I buy and sell these things. I don't repair them. Oh, this is hopeless. Perhaps we can help you. Sit well. I'm not an expert, I'm afraid, madam. But I'm sure someone can help. Perhaps Kevin. Kevin? Well, he must be able to do something. I'll get him right away. Kevin! Kevin! So, why don't you both stay and have lunch while we take care of the car? That would be lovely. It would be lovely, wouldn't it, Nick? Yeah. All right. I suppose we might as well. So, what's the problem? Nick's car won't start. Miss Woodward asks Nick if he can do something, but he tells her... I buy and sell these things. I don't repair them. And, according to Sitwell, who can solve this problem? Kevin. Mrs Middleton doesn't sound sure about this, but Sitwell says... He must be able to do something. I'll get him right away. So Sitwell goes off to find Kevin, and Mrs Middleton suggests that Nick and Miss Woodward stay for lunch. And we'll find out if Kevin succeeds in repairing the car next time. So join us then for the second episode of our story, The Wedding Reception. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Oh, Mrs Middleton, you were right. 
When you see Middleton Hall in the sunshine, it really is the perfect place for a wedding reception. I knew you would like it. Oh, I love everything about it. And I can imagine exactly how it will be. I'll stand here in my long white dress. The guests will arrive over there and we'll have a big white marquee on the lawn over there. It will be perfect. Perfect. And there'll be flowers on every table. Yes, and music playing. Classical music. <gasps> a string quartet, perhaps. And then, let me see. Just a moment, Miss Woody. What is that awful noise? Oh, look, it's Nick. Nick? Nick's my fiancé. He loves cars. He buys and sells them for a living. He's always got something new. It's always very fast, and it's always very, very noisy. Yes, so I hear. What is all this noise? What do you think you're doing? It's all right, Mr. Sidwell. It's all right. This is Nick, my fiancé. Oh, really? Hello, Fiona. Hello, darling. Did you have a good journey? Yeah, not bad. There was a bit of traffic, but nothing too terrible. So, Nick, I'd like you to meet Mrs Middleton and Mr Sitwell. Nice to meet you, Nick. Good morning, sir. So, Nick, what do you think? What? You mean, what do I think of this place? Of course. Well, I don't want to be rude. But it's a bit old-fashioned, isn't it? Old-fashioned? Yeah. It's like one of those places you see on TV. You know, with all the lords and ladies drinking tea on the lawn. I know! Isn't it perfect? Perfect? Perfect for what? Perfect for a wedding reception, of course. Silly. Oh, no. Oh, no. We've already discussed this, Fiona. I want to get married somewhere hot, somewhere with a bit of sunshine. And I told you I wanted to get married in England. Look, can we discuss this another time? I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, all right. I'm sorry, Mrs Middleton. I'll call you when we've had a chance to talk. Of course, I understand. Come on, Fiona. Come on, get in. All right. Don't be so impatient. Good. Goodbye, Mrs Middleton. Goodbye, Sitwell. See you soon, I hope. Right. What's going on? Oh, what's wrong with this thing? Oh, I don't believe this. Is there a problem, sir? Yeah. It won't start, will it? Can't you do something, Nick? I buy and sell these things. I don't repair them. Oh, this is hopeless. Perhaps we can help you. Sit well. I'm not an expert, I'm afraid, madam. But I'm sure someone can help. Perhaps Kevin. Kevin? Well, he must be able to do something. I'll get him right away. Kevin! Kevin! So... Why don't you both stay and have lunch while we take care of the car? That would be lovely. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Middleton Hall, a British Council Learn English radio series. And remember, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from Amanda Carlton and me, David Evans. Goodbye. Goodbye.